Breathe in. Breathe out. So before we get into this tutorial, I do want to say that this is a collab with my friend Twisted Glam here on YouTube. I'm so excited to be collabing with her again. She's so nice and super talented. So definitely go check out her pumpkin look. We both kind of were inspired by the same person, but definitely go check her out when you're done watching mine. The first thing I'm doing is gluing down my brows so that none of them show. And this is a really important step later on. At first, I wasn't sure if like I really needed to glue my brows down. But I definitely realized that it was a necessary step later on. What you need to glue down your brows is a glue stick. And make sure it's like the purple one. I don't know why, but other ones just don't work. And you need a loose, translucent setting powder. What you want to do is go over your brow hairs like a thousand times with the glue stick. And just make sure they're all pasted down. And then go over that and bake basically with a translucent setting powder like you just saw me do and then you want to go in with a pink color corrector to cancel out the colors of your brows and then you can go over with your either your foundation or a concealer but in this case all i did was just stop at the color corrector i did bake again because it's important to do that as well but then i just went ahead and went over with the paint that i'm going to use on the rest of my face Oh, it's definitely really important to wipe away the bake before you go in with the paint. And for the paints, of course, I am using the Mehron. Look at my face palette. It is actually disgusting. Like, I need a new one basically at this point. I'm almost out of all the colors. Like, I'm out of black and white, almost out of red, and I'm almost out of the blue, I think. But yeah, I've used a lot of it. Anyway, I'm going in with this orange. And honestly, I think there was some brown left on my brush from another look that I was doing. And it was really annoying. By the way, this brush is from the dollar store, like Dollar Tree. I think I said that in my last video. But like, honestly, great investment. A dollar. Like, honestly, it has helped me so much. I need to get more of those. And it came with like a detail brush that I'm going to use later on. And it's just so amazing. Now I'm just tracing out what I'm going to do like for the eyes, the nose, and the mouth. And again, I got this inspo. I don't think I said this already. But I'll have her Instagram link down below. I think she also did a youtube video and she was honestly my major inspiration for this look just the shape it's kind of like a different and unique shape when i was talking to ariana from twisted glam like i was like oh yeah i'm i'm i showed her my look and then she sent me a picture of her inspiration which was exactly my inspiration and i just thought that was hilarious so i'm just sketching this out using a brow pencil that no longer works for my brow color i basically did some diamonds as the mouth which is just a unique shape and now i'm outlining it in black paint which as you saw was mayron i had to get like a whole other i think this is my second mirror palette by the way not palette um black paint but yeah i'm using that dollar tree liner brush by the way and for the nose i'm actually doing like a heart shaped nose i don't know it's just such a unique shape of the eyes nose and mouth that i just had to recreate it in my own little style i did take major inspiration from her but i think i made it a little bit different as well Now I'm just tracing out where the lines of the pumpkin are going to go and I really like to do this again like I like to trace everything out before I go in with paint or I'm not going to go in with paint in this but in this case eyeshadow but either way like I need to make sure that it's perfect and exactly where I want it because you know you can't erase eyeshadow or paint but you can erase a brow pencil much more easily i usually take either a brow pencil or a white liner pencil anything like that will work because i just like to make sure that it's done beforehand like perfect before i go in with the stuff that you can't erase right now i'm just basically taking the black paint and just kind of filling in where i outlined before just making sure that everything is nice and neat and i'm actually using an eyeshadow brush for this because i was too nervous to use like that bigger paint brush and yeah this is basically what i'm doing definitely recommend taking a smaller brush than i took because i kind of actually made the diamonds bigger because i got out of the lines a little bit a few times but it's okay Now I'm just taking some black paint to do like the makeshift eyelashes. I'm drawing three little lines on the each corner, not each corner, but the top left corner and the bottom left corner, like the top and bottom outer corners, if you will, of each eye, just to make it more unique. Like I said, this definitely was inspiration from that girl. I don't know her name. I wish I knew her name before I started doing this voiceover, but you know what I'm saying. By the way, do you like voiceovers or do you like talk throughs? I would love to know. I did a talk through tutorial for my next one, just so you know, because I know some people like that more, but now I'm just taking a 
black eyeshadow. I feel like the Mehron paints are just a little too shiny for my liking. So I like to take some black eyeshadow and just go over it and make sure it's, you know, not as shiny. Now I'm just taking a brown eyeshadow and I originally took like a much thicker brush and I decided to go with a liner brush and a dark brown eyeshadow from the e.l.f. Retro Paradise. By the way, that's the palette that I'm using. Today I used the black from that one and now I'm using the brown from that one. I'm just tracing over those lines I did with the brow pencil. I eventually go in with a thicker pencil and just kind of smudge everything out. I don't like the precise look. Like right there on my neck, you see how crazy it got there and I really don't like that. So I blended it out with a fluffier brush. So that's what you're gonna see me do now. I just basically took a fluffier brush and just started blending out that brown eyeshadow. I might've taken a little bit more eyeshadow just to make sure that it was pigmented enough, but I'm just blending out that same exact shade and just making sure it's, I mean, it, it's supposed to look pretty rough. Like I don't want it to look perfect because pumpkin lines are just they're not perfect and especially because this is makeup but yeah that's what i'm doing right now just making sure everything is nice and blended out Now I'm taking a lighter brown transition shade. I'm really taking my time with this. This is in double speed, by the way. I just really took my time and make sure, made sure everything was nice and blended like you would do if you were doing an eyeshadow look. I just want to make sure that everything is really blended so it doesn't look as rough. Like I said, I mean, it's gonna look rough and that's okay because a pumpkin is not supposed to look perfect, but I just wanted everything to look a lot more smooth and seamless and blend it out, I guess. Now I'm taking the black eyeshadow and I'm taking a little bit on each point of the triangles or the diamonds. I know my I know my shapes, I promise. But I'm blending that into the brown lines that I did on my face and just making it look a little bit more seamless. Like they're blended into each other like you would for an eyeshadow look. Now it's time for the details and I'm this is the part I'm so excited about. And I'm taking this pigment from Body Cosmetics. It was limited edition. I'm not sure if they still sell it, but it's like a gold pigment. And I would recommend taking a pigment over like an eyeshadow because it definitely sticks to the paint so it looks really 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 good and I just decided to put this on my lids my nose and then I decided to put it on some parts of my face just to create like a highlight to create more dimension and make it look like a lot prettier and just less boring I guess so I basically took it on either side of the lines and now I'm taking a gold highlighter this is from Jeffree Star I'm just highlighting where you would normally highlight in your inner corner cheekbones and my nose and now i'm taking a black liner this is from nyx it's a weird formula though i'm not gonna lie it's a little hard harder than i imagined it would be but it's okay i just really need to line my lips before i do any kind of lipstick especially a dark one so i'm glad i had this lip liner i didn't even remember that i had it but i found it <laughs> if not an eyeliner i'm sure it would work But now I'm taking the Fenty Beauty Black Lipstick, Liquid Lipstick. Oh my gosh, this formula is amazing. I absolutely love it. And I just decided to take a lipstick because I felt like I needed to. And I'm adding more of that gold pigment into the middle of my lips, the center of my lips. I just think it gives the extra pop. I really hope you enjoyed this. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Don't forget to check out Ariana as well. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.